it's Martha. Welcome back to another vlog. We just did a 20 minute sauna. It didn't last very long because we didn't want to get fully naked and <laughs> yeah, they put us in the same room together. And like, yeah, you guys can shower. <laughs> I mean, I would, but I, I'm like, I don't have, like, I'm Dana wearing... I need to be naked for 20 minutes with Martha. The tightest clothes, too. To yeah. put the tightest clothes back on after, no. So sometimes I just like to, like, sit in the sun in my apartment because my apartment is sunny, but it doesn't get that much direct light. As in terms of just, like, sitting on the couch and like being blasted with light, which I realize not a lot of people probably even have that, but we had it in our last place and I get direct sun. It changes throughout the year. So there's like a little bit less right now. And if you're like by the window, obviously it comes in. So I'm just warming up. As Scotty and I would say, I'm roasting. Okay, so today's Tuesday. I just filmed a get ready with me to go to the gym because it's already like 12. I worked on a project this morning and submitted it, like sent over my reels edit. But I realized I hadn't done the stories yet, so TBD on that. My sister just had a baby. She gave birth last night, so I've been texting my family, which is very exciting. And daylight savings happened technically Saturday night, so like Sunday, but it was Saturday night. I cannot wake up early, like literally cannot. I had like four alarms today, and I ended up getting up at eight, so I've been getting up like 15 minutes earlier each day because like on Sunday I didn't wake up till 9 and then Monday I woke up at like 8 30 or 8 45 and then today I was like 8 a.m but it felt so brutal still which is hilarious because it's only an hour I also haven't been getting tired so I've gone to bed at midnight the last two nights so really trying to get back on schedule there I feel like my habits have become kind of bad lately like screen time immediately in the morning which I didn't do for a long time. For a long time, I wouldn't even look at my phone, but I was also waking up earlier. So I gotta work on that. And I've also been staying up late working, which is a good habit and a bad habit and watching TV. And I would like to get myself in bed earlier. I am out of tampons though. And I have been on my period. It is like annoyingly heavy this time. So I need to go get them because obviously I'm going to the gym and I'm in the mood for an Alani. So I'm gonna walk in my neighborhood and go get tampons and an Alani, come back, get my shoes. I have to tell you guys something exciting about Scotty. Hopefully like talk to him soon because he's on a different time zone than I am right now. And I'm worried that like if I go to the gym, it's gonna be weird and we won't have enough time to talk, but I might hear from him before then or like right when I finish working out. So I'm just trying to like time everything up right now. So I'm gonna go grab those two things and be right back. I got the Ilani and we got the Tamps and I also just got an invite to 818's Coachella event and Coachella is like on my manifestation list this year. And honestly, now that it's so close, I kind of was like, Whatever happens, happens. Like if I don't go, I won't cry, obviously. But that's exciting. <laughs> what is good? Yeah. Hi guys, what's good? It is now, I keep mixing up the days thinking it's one day ahead of the day it actually is. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm all dressed up. I, I kind of didn't want to wear this blazer, but I wanted like a rough, cool vintage jacket. But this one looked the best out of all my jackets that I had. And I got a lot. So I'm going to a event at Cezanne. They have an office which I might have vlogged around Christmas time, I can't remember. So they have an office here in LA now and they've been doing a lot of like fun events. They invite different tiers of influencers to different events. So I found out through some friends that they had a pasta making night last night. So we've been kind of like, hmm, I wonder why we're like invited to these certain ones, which is kind of funny. But tonight 
We actually shot a bunch of content, me, Emily, and Berg and Taylor and I last week at their office. And I kind of already got to see the new collection, but Kareen let us in on the fact that there's gonna be like this exciting pizza vendor that I guess is like a famous pizza in LA and a few other food items. And anytime there's like good food at an event and if it's close to me, which this is in WeHo, so it's not that far. I'm like, I'm gonna go because it's also a good excuse to see people and get dressed up and whatnot. And then Luda's siblings are in town. She's also the oldest of her siblings. I'm the oldest and we're nearly, Luda and I are like one year apart or something, like six months. We're in the same grade. And so she has younger siblings and I do too. And we're each close with each other's siblings and they're here they leave tomorrow and they're like 21 now which is fun because we can go drink with them i'm doing like the influencer hand this is my pug ring from my birthday vlog this summer that my mom got me so anyways i'm gonna go meet them in los feliz which i'm gonna i'm kind of going like 25 percent of the way there right now maybe like 30 percent probably 30 percent so it's gonna like make the drive easier for me tonight so i'm excited for that so i'm gonna hang out here for a little while with some friends have a glass of wine and then go over to los Feliz, and we're going to i think la pubelle i'm i might have the name wrong i need to double check it's in los Feliz. it's like the little french place if you live here you know what i'm talking about i just can't remember exactly the name and also i spent a lot of time on my makeup tonight i don't usually wear this much but it looks pretty good, I think. I think this light makes it look like way more intense than it is in person. Vlog. We just found a stunning bathroom, guys. Dream bathroom. Dream. Good morning, guys. I have been awake for a few hours. I'm still in my sleepy girl shit. I don't know what's going on. Just wash my face. It is like 11 now and I'm going to get my hair done today. Also, I just started using this uh, vitamin C serum. It's YC Beauty and I like it so far. I always incorporate a vitamin C into my skin routine. It's like the one. Okay, anyways, vitamin C is the one thing that keeps my skin looking nice and bright so i love that I'm using this glossier eye cream right now i also really like the one from does skin but anyways i'm going to get my hair done today kind of a long story but i'm going to see my old hairstylist jill who i saw for years and i loved her my friend barb started doing my hair we kind of were doing it as like a exchange and we just kind of like ran out on that she's getting really busy and i want my hair to go back to like more of the white shade that it was i feel like it's kind of gotten to be this like golden warm jill was really good at that so i'm gonna work with her and see if we can get back to that what she thinks yeah i'm excited for that she could be like a little rough on my hair so i felt like sometimes i would leave with breakage but when i had short hair it didn't really matter because we would just cut it off and Barb was like incredibly gentle, which I knew would be really great for growing my hair out. So I'm just curious to see how today goes. She's also, Jill's also in Costa Mesa, which like I don't really mind. But now that I live just a little bit farther from the highway, the drive is like 15 minutes longer, which is just, you know, a little bit annoying. But also, if you are from the area, you know that a hair can be so expensive in LA. Like some people literally pay like $600 to get their hair done, which that is insane to me. Yeah, that's insane. I would rather drive a little bit extra. So I pay like under 300 because I'm going every six weeks. Also, I love this super screen, best sunscreen for my skin. I'm gonna get dressed and then put a little bit of makeup on. Okay, time to put on a little bit of makeup. 
All right, I'm literally just gonna do my Ilia Super Serum eyebrows, and I think the Ilia blush today instead of the Say one, because the Say one's great, but the Ilia one's like easier for me to apply. Okay, while I'm doing this real quick, let me tell you what's up with Scotty. Scotty got a temporary job in London, and he left a couple weeks ago. I think it's been like 10 days. Actually, today's Thursday. I think today marks exactly two weeks, I want to say, which is so crazy. Like, that actually went by kind of fast as long as it's been two weeks and I'm not just... No, yeah. Yeah, it's been two weeks. Okay. Because he had a full first work of week last week. So, he got a temp job there. Um, the only kind of sad part for me is that it's six months long. I mean, if you guys have been following my YouTube channel, you know that we had a bit of a separation. I don't even know if I would call it like a full breakup because we were living together even when we were like breaking up. So I had gotten really used to us being together all the time because then he started being at my house because he had his own place, not his own place, he had his place with roommates. But he was pretty much spending the night here every night just cause like it was a bunch of guys and I mean, I have like a nice cozy place, you know, we just wanted to be together. So he was here all the time. And then this job was very, very like last minute quick. So he went through an interview process. It was actually through one of his roommates. It, when it came down to it, they were like, you have to let us know. And I want to say it was like three days or something. And so then he had let me know he was thinking about it and that he wanted to go. And I was like, you should go because... If it was me, I'd want to go and I don't I don't ever want to like hold my partner back from experiencing something like that. And also, I've never been to Europe, so this is an amazing opportunity to go travel. And his work is putting him up, so like the cost of um the cost of staying there is already taken care of. I just get to like stay where he's staying. And I just bought my ticket. <laughs> I just bought my ticket to go. London is the one city I've always really wanted to go to, which is just like crazy. But that's where he is. It's so fun to see all his photos and videos that he's been texting me. So I just bought my ticket for the springtime. I still have a good amount of time to go until we get to see each other, which is fine. It's going to go by quick. It's actually been kind of nice to just like be able to focus because I've been a little busy these last few weeks. By the way, this color is all of me. And yeah, that is the update. So that's why I haven't been posting Scotty on my stories as much and everything because he's not here so i've been posting i posted like a video and we were facetiming in it which like i don't know if people catch on to these little things but hi i i didn't show you guys my finished hair yesterday i got my tripod out because it's just easier it looks gorge i feel like we are back to that white shade so we really bleached out my roots. I love that it's like white, white, white. And one thing with Jill is she almost overtones me just a little bit. So I always have like a little bit of this like purpley toner. But the thing with being a blonde is the toner always washes out. So I don't really mind if it's like a little overtoned like that because toner isn't made to last and it's gonna wash so I'd rather her overtone, then I can use my purple shampoo less, and it'll just be like good for the long road. My phone keeps going off. My family chat has been going crazy with my sister just having had her baby. I can't wait to meet it. Pause. Okay, I am shooting content with Taylor and Malibu in just a few hours. I'm so excited. I was supposed to shoot some free people stuff. Sorry, FP movement. And they were gonna overnight the package, but I just don't think it's gonna get here in time because I haven't gotten it yet. So that's just like a little disappointing because I wanted to kind of knock that out, but also it happens. I'm very excited to have my fresh hair. I'm very excited for going out to the beach, seeing the sunset, doing beachy content. Like that is my jam. I feel like I, oh, this is hard to open. I thrive with that going on. I, I got Kismet Rotisserie. It's very much an LA thing. Kismet is a restaurant in Los Feliz and they have a place called Kismet Rotisserie which is just like their quick kitchen. And they opened one in Culver, which is incredibly closer to me than the east side. So I went on my way home last night and I just like forced myself to eat all the chicken that came on the chicken plate because I was like, we gotta get this protein. 
we gotta eat it all and it wasn't fun but i wasn't even like overly full afterwards it was just like i definitely needed it i'm glad i did it but i got these potatoes and i had so much food on my plate i was like i didn't even need this so i'm gonna whip these up with chicken sausage and then put two fried eggs on top and that's gonna be like my breakfast lunch all right this is what we're working with let me give you it looks pretty good and literally after I, I was like about to be done cooking and i saw the post guy through the window and the free people boxes got here i was shocked because she put it in the order yesterday morning also i'm literally always surrounded by packages at my house i feel like they're never gone a blessing and a curse kind of look at this shell i found at the beach to hang my hilarious or not hilarious he used this to hang my huge ikea mirror which i thought was so funny because it's like all i have it comes with like the command strips and i thought it was kind of genius to use this to level but i just realized i have to measure the space between the holes first i think i think we're in good shape here i'm stressed because one of my holes is fucked but it's something to do with the wall. I could not get the anchor on this one to go in all the way, the plastic piece. And I'm just gonna hang it like this. And I just tried it and it actually, it works. I just need to put the nails in for it. Oh my God. Okay, she's on the wall. Christ on a cracker. Just so you guys know, the shelf was hung and it is stunning. Okay, I have a bit of a story and Luda is coming over, so I need to make myself something to eat and also clean my kitchen up a little bit. It's really yellow in there right now, but we're just gonna film in there anyways. Okay, here is the story. So I didn't tell you guys this, but last night I was supposed to go shoot content with Taylor, which I think I shared. And she is particular about settings to shoot and like doesn't like when it's cloudy. It was cloudy outside, so she decided like she didn't want to go anymore. So, okay, so in my head, I was like very prepped and ready to shoot content still, was just in the headspace for it. And I had already like self tanned and everything I did on my shit. So I was like, I still want to go. And I just went by myself. This is, this is like a normal thing for me. Honestly, I kind of like shooting on my tripod sometimes. It reminds you, it brings back the creativity of it. It's just fun. You can like get as many photos as you want. The one beach I went to though, there was a lot of homeless people and I did not like that. When I say a lot, I mean like four or five. And they were mostly in the parking lot, but like a few of them were creeping me out because it's not a really popular beach. So it was just... You know, the vibe was a little off, but then I got over it and I went down to the beach. And then there was like more people as the sunset went on and I felt safe. My drive was fine on the way there, except there was a lot of construction. And I got there and I was there for hours. And then I finally was like, it's time to go home. And I drove over, I drove over the thing that's like says severe tire damage. And I literally had a thought to myself of like, wondering if something could happen. And then... Pretty soon after that, I got a notification from my car that my tire pressure had gone down and I was like, fuck. Honestly, I'm not sure the two are related because I talked to Scotty about this and he said that if those things damaged your tires, it would happen immediately and it would have probably happened to all my tires, not just the one. So anyways, I have had two flat tires last year. Well, in the last year and a half, I had two. And then I had a scare one time and my sensor went off. Ever since my sensor went off, I have learned that my car is just sensitive. It doesn't always mean I have a flat tire. So the sensor goes off and I have like trauma from these flat tires now. 
and I was like, great. I'm in pretty much Palisades, not yet Malibu. And I have a flat tire, like this sucks. Cause on the PCH you can't really stop anywhere. And I realized I was close to Palisades, so I went up to Mescal Canyon and I checked all my tires and they were all like super inflated feeling to the touch and it was dark so I couldn't like get a good look and I was just looking at the tops of them. And I get home, honestly I did stop again. My car didn't really feel weird, but I did stop again and check because I was just being weary about it. I drove home and I was like, great, I got home. Like I didn't feel anything weird on my tires. Like this is awesome. And then this morning after I hung my shelf and did all my stuff, I was gonna go drop some stuff at the post office and go to the gym. And I was like, I'll check my tires. I squeezed them all and they were fine. I pulled out and I was like, I just heard a weird noise. And I thought to myself like, oh, I better check that, you know? And in checking it, the tire was flat. And there is a big hole in it. Like I ran over a nail and the nail finally fell out and that's why the tire sensor went off. Which makes this my third flat tire in a year and a half. Like, can you even believe that? I never had a flat tire once in my tiny little Ford Focus that I had before I got the Audi. So it's just kind of mind blowing. Granted there was construction on PCH yesterday. It's been hella windy. Like when I drove down to Orange County, there was so much stuff on the highway. It just is lame, honestly. But I just ended up calling AAA. Scotty put me on his plan. Someone came put my spare tire on. Now I need to go somewhere tomorrow to see if they can patch it or if I need a new tire. And it's just so annoying. But honestly, I was really glad that I drove home. Could have AAA come here instead of be like stranded on the road. Cause it's always kind of embarrassing and it's just uncomfortable to be like out in public and be like, great, I can't go anywhere. So that was kind of nice. I cleaned my place but I just always have piles. Like this is Poshmark pile, package pile by the door, <laughs> but everything else is pretty clean. And then like Ghani shoes out that I still wanna do a video of. Like I have to see things in plain sight to remember to do it. But we got her looking clean. Hi. I've been wearing these new FP movement shorts all day and I love them. I have the sweatpants. And the shorts are just like really cute. I like how they're longer actually and I'm not usually like a longer short girl. And I can wear my hair in a little clippy. Iconic. Now it's just long enough. I have a lot of plans for my house right now and I'm going to be redoing my entire desk area. I actually have a new, uh, a new chair, you can see there. And the desk is going to match. I cannot wait. And this room has is probably my least favorite furniture wise. I just bought this table because it was cheap. I've been wanting a white tulip table so bad. I thrifted an amazing art print to hang on the wall over where that white one is. And I just don't love this shelf. It is is weird here. I don't know. I don't want to have like an open shelf concept in here. So this room is going to be having the most work done to it. Are you going to check out? <laughs> On a date. Is this a vlog? Kind of nervous. <laughs> you got to try. The Haley Duber Sunday. Okay. We're going to do an Erewhon haul. We just got some goods. I, of course, got the Haley Duber Strawberry Glaze Sunday. My second time having it and it is delicious. And I'm having dessert before dinner. But then I also got... <laughs> I, want, I want you in it. Also got the onigiri, hopefully we're pronouncing this right. The little sushi thing. This one has the salmon in it and it is so fucking good, but they also charge like $6 and you can get these at the grocery store for like two bucks. Like the Asian grocery store. And then I got hot bars. I didn't know what I was gonna eat at home. And I always get a combo plate. And today, we got the chicken tendons. We got the kale salad. I need to try that because I still have never tried it. You haven't tried it still? No. no. Oh my god. So, Luda and I were obsessed with watching Emma Chamberlain's vlogs kind of during COVID, and she was obsessed with this salad. Mm -hmm. She always be like, oh my god, I'm going to air one <laughs> to get the fucking salad that I'm obsessed with. And then I was like, I gotta try it, and it's so good. And, oh, I pointed to the wrong thing. This is not chicken, this is chicken. And then I got buffalo cauliflower because I always get buffalo cauliflower. It's pretty iconic. It's, it's fucking good. 
I got a juice. I don't remember what juice it is because I took the tag off, but it's a green juice and it's yummy. And then I got this little fruit pack with mango and strawberry. The grapefruit. <laughs> oh, I thought it was an orange. No, it's a grapefruit. That's it's a cut. Small. Yeah, it's a small grapefruit. And then for dessert, I got this tiny <laughs> keto peanut butter caramel chocolate. It looks good. I said earlier that Luda got a girl dinner. I think we both got girl dinners. Yeah, we did. Nums. Yes, I love Salt Lake City Housewives. One of my favorite lines. It's a really cozy cup. and I got my tire fix. I'm so happy about that. As I said before, this was my third in like a year and a half. Scotty luckily knows this guy that owns a tire shop nearby, like really close to where we used to live. So pretty close to where I live too. I saw them last year and they plugged one tire for me. The other one, when it happened, I happened to be close to another tire shop. So I went back there, I texted the guy, cause since Scotty knows him, he has his phone number. So I texted him last night and he was like, I'm out of town, but my boy Gregory will help you out. So shout out Global Tires. If you're in LA and you're on like mid city or westish side, it's really close to Culver. They're so nice. They're like the nicest guys ever and it was amazing, so it was super quick. I got it done. And I'm really happy that I can drive my car on like the highway and normal distances again because I had something this morning for work, but I moved it to tomorrow morning because I was like, we just got knocked the tire out. Now I'm restarting my errands that I was gonna be doing over the weekend. So I'm gonna drop off some Poshmark stuff and Amazon return that my mom accidentally sent to me. I'm gonna grab, I was gonna say boba, but I'm not gonna get boba. There's a place in my neighborhood that's really good and I've been obsessed. I'm gonna get a jasmine milk tea. I think that's everything we're dropping off. I have some more posh sales to pack up, so I'm gonna do that. I did my post office run. I got my boba without actual boba. And as I was leaving the boba place, there's a teenager, there's so many teenagers in Beverly Hills and there's a teenager and he was like, said to his friend, man, Boba sounds fire right now. And then he looks at me, he calls me ma'am. He said, excuse me, ma'am, doesn't Boba sound fire right now? I was very caught off guard. <laughs> but I was like, oh yeah, this place is good. It's bomb. And he's like, that wasn't my question. And like wanted me to say, that boba sounds fire right now, which I definitely would have, but I did not think fast enough. But the moral of this story is that I got called ma'am by a teenager. What do you think? Does it mean they think that we're old? But also when you're a teenager, you think literally everyone is old. You think that someone that's 22 is old. So, Scotty just said it's because he had good manners. <laughs> vlog it's Tuesday I'm on my way to Sunday's furniture as I said I was going to do yesterday but I got my tire fixed so I'm filming a video they have a pop-up here in LA at platform in Culver City first got in contact with them when I was in New York City a few years ago and they had a little party it was through a PR firm that I used to work with, but now they are separately doing their own PR. It's really simple wood furniture. A lot of it honestly kind of looks like a Danish style, like vintage Danish furniture that was super expensive. Also like kind of modern too, because you can still find current Danish furniture, but it's a little bit more of an attainable price point. I have a little side table from them and my bed frame is from them also. So, I 
I kept getting their targeted ads, which is so funny because in messaging her, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy our ads are working. But I was like, this desk is exactly what I've been looking for. My desk situation is just like a mess. And I haven't hung stuff up on the wall because I don't want that desk and I didn't want to hang it and then have the desk be a different height and the whole thing just be weird. So we're doing a little exchange and I'm going to give them some PR for their pop-up here in LA and then I in exchange got a desk and a chair. I got finessed a little bit because they wanted me to do a video of the desk and the space but like obviously I'm gonna do content of my home because it's fun and it performs well and what our agreement was was just a video of the space but they don't have like usage rights on the video that i will ultimately create for myself so that's kind of like where the contract ties in i find that stuff really interesting when other people talk about it but if you're like not in that world this world it can be a little bit confusing and weird um, so yeah, I just got sidetracked, but I'm headed there now It's harder to do stuff like this because I don't have Scotty in town right now because he is in London So someone at the store is gonna help me get just a few clips of myself in there But I'm mostly just gonna do the video of the store and then do like a cute little point five of me like arriving to platform and everything So I think it'll be pretty quick. I'm honestly pretty efficient at completing jobs like this so it'll probably be I'll be at platform for like 45 minutes because I might get coffee or food after and I also want to look at some dining chairs that they have because I'm considering buying them I'm also gonna fix up the dining room so we're on our way guys I think I think I want to order these dining chairs they're so nice and super solid wood this is the other colors gorge 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 <laughs> Five twenty. I'm so thankful for daylight savings because I don't feel like my day is ending at 5 30. Um, I just did some really boring, 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 boring tax stuff and I'm hoping I don't owe a lot of money this year. <laughs> so we'll see. I have some PR that's stacked up. It's not that much. So we're just gonna open it and then I'm gonna get rid of these boxes on my way out to go on an evening walk. This first one is from the A-list and I believe it's from Farm Rio. Okay, these pieces are crazy cute, but I also picked them out right around Valentine's Day for Valentine's Day content. So now I'm kind of like, I'm still excited for them, but they're very, very Valentine's Day. Are you ready? I mean, it's so cute. It's, it's just very Valentine's Day. And then we have a dress. This one I believe you can wear you can like flip the way you wear it. So you can wear it with the heart on the front or you can wear it with the heart on the back. But like, it's getting kind of hot here in LA. So I don't know. So I would wear it in the front to make it sexy. She's a little heavy. I'm gonna have to try her on, but she would be good for nighttime in Los Angeles. Okay, I got a package from Smashbox Studios. I don't even remember saying yes to this so this is an exciting one okay what does this say objective favorites oh there's a primer i don't really use primers but i mean smashbox is a great brand so i feel like this one's probably really good this is from sushi beauty and i actually am not really familiar with this brand either oh we got some lippies oh we got an eyeliner actually lots of eyeliner and then we got a pink nude lip silk I love a color like that. Oh, this is exciting. I was like, I opened this the other day, what is it? I used to, I don't know if you guys know or not, but I used, let's wait for this. Is there another one? Okay, now that that's over, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to smoke a lot of weed. And when we were coming out of COVID, I just got, I had this like whole hormonal thing. I was coming off an IUD. I had like a hormone crash. Weed made me incredibly anxious and I just like don't really smoke weed at all. I mean, I don't smoke it at all anymore. But this brand, Mary Jane reached out to me. I was intrigued because it's like super incredibly microdose products. So it's literally one milligram of THC in each melt, which I think these just melt in your mouth. They're like 
little like minty like mint like you know when you have like a, a vitamin that melts in your mouth i think that's the vibe all right we got a package from sunbum i love the way that their sunscreen smells okay we got the daily face liquid sunscreen moisturizer can always use that a gel sunscreen and a body lotion with sunscreen in it that's cool oh i think that they gave us oh my god i think this is for your phone can i put it over here ah <laughs> that's so funny guys <laughs> and then we got a little sweatshirt oh it's nice and big we got some sneakers from kiriyuma Oh, when we purchased our shoes, we also planted two trees in the Brazilian rainforest. All right, so apparently they make sustainable sneakers. Really cute, giving me Vans vibes. I would wear them with my outfit today because my pants are too long. This is from Chill House. Oh, we got four sets. Okay, cute. I will, um, I saw this launch online. I thought they were sending me the other launch because I liked the other launch better than these. But I actually really like this acid wash one and from online, I thought I wasn't gonna like it. Um, this one is from my mother. I don't think she put in a note or anything. Oh, she sent me some of these. Well, this was PR that was supposed to come around Christmas time. And you can tell based on what it looks like it's giving Christmas, but also it's like super sexy and fun. It's from Eris Beverly Hills. Okay, that's all I have. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. It is Wednesday. Um, sorry if the TV's annoying in the back. It's the end of the day and I'm making myself breakfast for dinner because I have been ordering random stuff. And I was like, I need to eat what I have. And so I'm making eggs with like cheesy eggs with um, Tillamook cheese, which is so good. And then Kodiak cakes, which I always get at Costco and a bunch of strawberries. And it looks so good. It's about to hit the spot. I've been indecisive of if I should continue this vlog and let me get like one really long vlog or two really long vlogs. And as I'm recording this, I haven't decided yet. So we'll see if this ends up being the ending or not and also i tanned my face today with um salty face tanning water i have a discount i'm gonna put it in the the cap whatever i'm gonna put it below um i do think it makes me look like so much better and so much prettier just like you look in the mirror and you're like ugh. and i also did the delaney child's viral bun today i don't have like a good place to set this down right now and it's fallen a little bit but I think it looked like so freaking good. Like I was in disbelief. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to TikTok and search like Delaney Child's viral bun. Also the hair color is slaying. Jill brought it back to life. This is Miss Dinner and she looks absolutely stunning. We're watching this new show, Palm Royale, and I have not put my laundry away and I just got this desk in the mail and I'm absolutely not putting it together tonight, so. Mm -hmm. 